Hello everyone, I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, October 5th, 2018. Here's what's happening today. First up, pricing and a sneak peek at the menu for the revamped Artist Point Character Dinner has been released and reservations are now open. Of course, the experience will now be known as Storybook Dining at Artist Point and will feature characters from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and it will begin December 16th. Pricing is $55 for adults and $33 for children, with tax and gratuity not included, but it does include one appetizer, one entree, and one of each dessert, and a non-alcoholic fountain beverage. The menu will include such things as a winter squash bisque, royal prime rib roast, and seafood stew, and the dessert will be a selection of items including like a poison apple. Not really poisonous. You can make your reservations online or by calling 407-WDW-DINE. Over at Disneyland, the 2019 and 2020 ambassadors have been announced. This year, Justin Rapp and Rafa Barron will act as representatives at events in the parks and around the community. The ambassador program was started by Walt Disney over 50 years ago, and the duties include accompanying Disney characters during visits to local hospitals, attending cast recognition ceremonies, I apologize for that, hosting dignitaries and VIPs, and serving as spokespeople for the resort. So congratulations to them. Also this weekend is the unofficial gay days at Disneyland Resort, and Disneyland will help embrace the event by featuring a menu of special rainbow-colored treats like the rainbow-colored World of Colored Crispy Treat, a rainbow cake, and a rainbow rock shake made with rainbow cereal, and that's just a handful of the special treats you'll find throughout the resort, and of course you can also find plenty of rainbow merch as well. Moving over to the Diz, today's featured article comes from Rachel Ashbrook, and her article is Attraction Overlay's Halloween Edition, where she comes up with some great Halloween ideas for the attractions that aren't currently getting Halloween overlays. So for that great article and more, head over to www.info.com. Now trending on the boards today is a thread titled Slinky Dog Wait Time that was started by poster Jenna Runs, who posed a question about how the posted wait time varies from the actual wait time for Slinky Dog Dash at Toy Story Land. In the thread, folks are sharing what they've experienced now that the new land has been open for a few months, and it seems that the actual wait times are not typically as long as the posted ones. Stop by the Theme Parks Attractions and Strategies Forum to join in on that conversation. Now it's Friday, so we have a couple things for you at, on the Diz Unplugged. Uh, YouTube.com slash Diz Unplugged later, we'll have the latest episode of the Disney Dining Show. And then on iTunes later on, we'll have the latest episode of Connecting with Walt, which is part two of our look at this uh, coming uh, in October 15th, I want to say. Traders from the Disney Vault on TCM. So you'll be able to find both of those later, DizUnplugged.com. Now wrapping things up with the weather out in Anaheim, you can expect mostly sunny skies today and tomorrow with a high today of 77 before dropping to 74 tomorrow, lows in the low 60s both days. Sunday could see scattered showers with a high of 72 and a low of 58. Here in Orlando, we should have a weekend full of partly cloudy skies with highs hovering right around 90 and lows in the mid 70s still. For links to everything discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at www.info.com slash daily fix. It's going to do it for me today. We'll be back with you on Monday for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix, I think. It might be a holiday. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll let you know. Maybe. Probably not. (laughs) So that's going to do it for this Diz Daily Fix. We'll see you again sometime soon. Until then, everyone, have a great weekend.